Hi everybody, Don Balance here with another two minute tutorial. This one featuring Animation Store Creator. Now this is an application that comes with both NewTek TriCaster and NewTek 3Play, allowing you to create your own customized transitions between video sources and animated buffers. So let's take a look at how we can create a transition in Animation Store Creator. You will find the application under the Add-ons area in the main home page, and I'm just gonna click on it to get to it. I am running Advanced Edition, so I have Animation Store Creator Advanced Edition, which came with Advanced Edition. And, but this does also work on Standard Edition as well. So when we come in, uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to figure out what it is we're going to make. And we wanted to try and make a transition, and the first type of transition is a wipe. So the way this is going to work is we're transitioning from A to B. I actually have a little timeline down here, and right now it's got two frames, A and B, and that's it. So to make the transition, I'm going to load an overlay image sequence that will cover both of the video sources. Now this was created in After Effects or your favorite 3D application. I'm going to go out and I'm going to select my file. And this is a series of images, PNG files with alpha channel that have doors slamming down and then opening up again. So I'm just going to click on the first one and say open. And you can now see that it's on A, and then it goes to B, and then the doors come down. So that's not what I want. I need that cut point to happen when the doors are closed, about here. So if I slide my time slider out here to the area in the middle, there's an area called cut frame, and it says set. And I click on the set button, and you can see the timeline changes. Now it's red all the way out to that point, and red is source A. And then the doors close, and now it's blue, which is source B. So I've now created a transition. So I want to create an icon to display that transition. I'm going to choose a nice image where I'm going to recognize it and click on set the icon effect. Now that will be used as the icon when it's loaded into the switcher. And you also have a quality setting here of normal, high, and ultra. Normal renders at standard definition. High renders at 720 and ultra renders at 1080. But I find I use high quality most of the time, even in 1080 projects, and it looks great. And the reason I do that is because it saves system memory. If I render these all at ultra, they may look slightly better, but they're going to take up a lot more system memory. So you can try them both ways and decide for yourself what you want to use. And then you also have the ability to add audio to this effect. And I'm going to come out and select the audio file that I have, a door slam wave right there. And we are now ready to export this effect. First, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to call it Don Doors. And now I'm ready to go ahead and export it. And I can export it to this TriCaster or any other TriCaster on my network that is in the live production mode. If the TriCaster is not on the live desktop, it won't show up in this list. But if it's in live mode, you can actually send this transition to a TriCaster while it's being used during a live production. I'm just going to go ahead and send it to this TriCaster for now. There it goes. You do also have the ability to create an installer. And that installer could very easily be put onto a USB drive or some sort of movable media that you could then take from one machine to another. There is no licensing fees or anything like that. So you can create an installer here and then take that to any number of TriCasters or three plays and use this transitional effect inside of those systems. One other thing, the content that comes in, uh, if it was rendered as interlaced content, you need to tell Animation Store Creator that. And if you don't, you'll be able to see the difference. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. And if you have suggestions for other topics you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. We'll see you again real soon with another two-minute tutorial.